You know what they say is like one of the worst things you want to hear a black mother say? What's that? It's not that I'm mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, this is our review for Antebellum. Play the music. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider-Man, this AKA D-Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds down for me, my co-host, Daria. Say what's up. Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to our Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie review show for the channel. We got one for you. Antebellum just came out this weekend. Uh, and I wish I could say uh, uh, some good things about it. But before we get yeah. started, wow, yes, before we Great get started, y'all know the drill. Yeah. If y'all like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications for us. Uh, for every single video that we produce, ranging from movies to video games to wrestling to whatever we find absolutely interesting, we want to bring it right to you. Also, like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, Archive You Faithful. Now, let's get it going. Antebellum. Antebellum. We were psyched for this when we saw the trailer for it because we had a whole trailer drop for it. Oh, it we God. thought it was it's... suspenseful and everything. Yes, and I think I was more psyched than you were yeah, a for bit. this movie. Only because I thought it was like another get out type of deal. I mean, they, they, they did on the trailer. They did That's pop how they it up led and you said, into it. it's like, yeah. oh, from the minds of get out. And yeah. Us. And we're like, yo. Yo, okay, we got I, this. I'm willing to see it. And I think what that, what happened was we ended up, it, it ended up making it harder to see all the red flags with this. And there are some yes. major red flags with this movie. God, uh, from I, the I beginning. I really wanted to love this movie. But let's yeah. let's just jump right into it. Yeah. it we not better yeah. not belabor the point. This movie follows a woman named Vanessa, a PhD, uh, basically goes and she speaks to the social needs of this country, mainly yeah. racial, uh, as it comes into it, uh, intersectionality. Basically, you know, is a very classy, very well-spoken woman. And um, she finds herself thrust into the antebellum pyramid. Yeah. Pyramid. That's, 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 yeah. That's really it. it this, is, this, this movie is the definition of what you see is what you get. The only problem is there was a lot of assumptions uh, surrounding the trailer that made you think that there, had, there was something more to this movie than there actually was. And that's what's really disappointing here. It's, I'm going to have to agree. Like I said, I, I think I'm even more disappointed and upset than you are. Because like I said, I was so gung-ho for this movie. The, the, like like you said, the trailer brought us into it. Oh, you right had the, it. from the people of Get Out. And us comes Antebellum yep. with Janelle Monet, And it's like, and I'm hell loving, yeah! I love Janelle Monet like Yeah! Crazy. It's like, hell yeah, okay, let's get this going. And then the movie comes on and you're just like, it, it feels what? very straightforward. And like, usually yeah. that's not, that's not, a, that's not the worst indictment that, that you can give a movie mm, because no, if you'd rather it to be straightforward instead of a meandering tale here and there. But like, there's three acts in this. Uh, the first act is the one where we, cause like very second that we get into this, we're get we're hit with the Faulkner quote. Um, what was it? The past is not the past. The past isn't even the past. Or something yeah. Like that. Uh, the and, past is still a present. Or yeah. Something like, so, that. something like that. And then we're caught like with imagery of, you know, slavery. Uh, you got black folks tending to the fields, yeah. house Negroes, you know, uh, handling the linen, yeah. uh, Confederate soldiers, like marching riding through. through and marching through. Yeah. And I think once you, I think because that starts the movie off, you're automatically like, wait, what the hell? Yeah. Because, because like, in the trailer, the trailer, it doesn't start yeah, off with it that. Do, it doesn't focus it's, on that. No, That's it's, not the focus. It starts her off doing, being a, a, a successful, I'm going to say political activist. Yeah. With a PhD. Yeah. That's how it started off. 
So that's what we see in the trailer. So that's what you're assuming. Like, okay, this is going to be good. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're going like, to see we're, a bad We're, we're going to find a way to, yes. that she's going to fall down yes. into this pit. Yeah. And it's one of the it's one of the, the most deceitful things because what it we've is. got is just straight up, she's already here. here and that kind of takes you out of it a little it bit. It does. So you don't have that level of suspense. Like when it comes no. to Get Out, uh, we're actually going to talk about this again because this, this movie is so much... There's so much wrong, in my opinion, with this movie that we're we're actually going to drop. No, a spoiler you're actually video not wrong. But there's this. so much wrong. I'm going to agree with you 100. percent But uh, yes. But the way that this movie hits you, uh, you, we're already focusing on this one thing. Right. Where where we're already in in the slavery times. Yes. You should say. But the the way that Get Out and Us hits you, it at least when it comes to Get Out. So like if if. if I, it's not really a spoiler for Get Out. No, like, not really. It, almost, it's, it's been some time. Like two, three years. But like, the way out. that it starts is you got Lakeith Stanfield yeah. in the suburbs. He's lost. He's talking on the phone. He's trying to figure out his way around. And you see him get yanked. And that sets the tone for why things are so, so suspenseful right. when you start feeling an unease surrounding it. Right. Here, it starts off like a generic slave flick. And you know it's not. No. But, like, at this point in time, the suspense is gone. Yeah, once you show us that, it's gone. Because now you've given us a suspense of, hey, she's already in slavery time. They've already got her. Now we're going through the whole thing. They're raping her. They're branding her. And it's just like... It's like, I, all, all we're doing is yeah. we're, we're trying to put the pieces of the puzzle yeah. together. Yeah, and it's not really a piece of a puzzle because it's just like... Why start off with this? Yeah, it feels more like a who done it. Yeah. Or a why done it, I right. guess. Right. Then it does like a you know a suspenseful thrill. Like yeah, they're trying to put it's in the a... same band of get out and us. Yes. And the whole anticipation of this movie was it to be suspenseful and a thriller. Yeah, we didn't get none of that. No, it, it I, was, I got it was none of that. To get any of this. Like it... so the movie is actually still well written. Yes. It's still it well is. directed. It's yes. still well shot. It's just the way that the story is told is so lackluster and mediocre that you just don't care once you get accustomed to it. Because it takes 40 minutes before yeah. we get out of the intro the, area that right. we're in. Yeah, like, so, we get some glimpses, but right. like, even then, it's still just like... No, so like we're spent 40 minutes with this slavery time. So we're spent 40 minutes watching... Janelle be abused and branded and all of this. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, so then you kind of you're kind of like done after that. Yeah, you really are. You're, you're really you're really. When the whole point of the movie probably is, that. how did she get there? Yeah, what happened? That, that's to the get whole her reason there? why we wanted to get yes. into this movie is and the don't how. Get, right, and don't like, get me wrong, the actors that they had in here were amazing. Yeah. So it's not boring to the sense like oh they couldn't act they couldn't no no. They acted their asses off. It's basically the way that the story was told and how they brought you into the story that 40 minutes into the movie, you're already checked out. Yeah. You're already checked out. It was like once we got back to the present time, yeah, which is it was basically just like, the second act, okay. I was looking up to, to who the director and the writer and the producer was, Gerard Bush, because I was like, okay, so they're they're saying it was it was really weird because it felt like they were saying the right things to really make you feel like this was a very realistic uh, premise that they were putting forward, at least mm -hmm. when it came to uh, Vanessa, uh, Veronica, right? Yeah. Yeah, Veronica yeah. being in the role that she was as a PhD and basically social uh, social activist. And I had to double check just to be like, okay, this is this, either, either they just know the right things to say or this is definitely a black person <laughs> who wrote this. And yeah. you feel it. And that, that makes it even worse for me in my opinion because I does. wanted it, it to be a better told story. I, I did and too. And it just wasn't. And this, uh, this was disappointing because it had an opportunity to be just that. Yeah. And just the way that they marketed it, marketed it. No, that's that's, you're right. No, yeah. The way they marketed it. <laughs> the way that they had marketed toward us was, hey, this is what it's going to be. Because again, and I hate to keep harping on this, but this is just, I'm just freaking irritated with this right now. You just have no idea. Yeah, it, it's like, I'm irritated because you had good actors and actresses in here. You had good main leading roles yeah. and you gave me this crap. Yeah. Why? It, it feels like we're not talking about as much. Cause like, it, it's hard. It's, it's, hard it's really to. hard to have a non-spoiler conversation with this when the movie is already spoiled by For its trailer. You. Right. And like anything that we do and say to fill in the gaps is really just going to make you go, okay, well, this is what this movie is about. Right. I'm done. But so we're going to reserve that to 
our spoiler review where we're going to talk about more uh, about some of the things because the very second that we start getting into those, it gets yeah. a little bit harder to keep you in the dark <laughs> yeah. and make you, you know, if you wanted to see it and you didn't yeah. want it to be spoiled, we wanted to try to, you know, tread lightly on that. So, do you so think let's we just jump just, right into the spoilers. I was about to say, do you think yeah. we should go? Uh, Daria, go ahead and give, give one me star. Spoiler. I don't even want to give it one star. So, so the way this movie <laughs> ended. The way this movie ended, I was at zero stars. You're still pissed up off until at the I'm still pissed off because I am major. I am pissed off done at with this ending. But like, I was at zero stars for this movie. Yeah, uh, and it's really hard to give it a star rating because, like, when it comes to to us, when it comes to people who have been, uh, you know, throughout this bullshit in this yeah, country, yes. who had it passed yeah. down. For centuries through word of mouth yeah. through, or just actually experience it ourselves when you hit us with 40 minutes of slave things yeah. and you're purporting yourself to be a suspenseful thriller the suspense is gone yeah. mainly because of two things racial violence is fucking predictable right and constant mm -hmm. and those two things in my opinion when it comes to a thriller movie are what sinks a thriller. If you are very predictable with your premise and if you're so consistent with the violence that mm -hmm. you just get completely desensitized to it. So like for the first 40 minutes, it took me completely out of it. And because of that, I'm stuck at like between zero and one stars. Now, if you are not used to it and you're still suspenseful, like, oh my God, how, how are they going to get past this? Yeah. How are they going to get through this? Yeah. And you're not so used to it. You, you may, you have may like it a little score. bit more. But for me, I'm at one star for this. I'm at one star. I can't, yeah. I can't give it anything yeah. more than and, that. And I will be honest, when, when the movie started, it, even 40 minutes in, I was still kind of like at three. Yeah. And then it started lingering on too long. And that's when I was like, okay, I, there's no way for me to justify anything that's yeah. happening right now. Because like, I know for a while you were like, okay, what? And I'm constantly <laughs> like You're, you're, constantly you're, you're digging into it. It's like, yeah. no, 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 it's like, fine. No, it's this fine. is going to happen. It's this good. is going to happen. That's going to happen. None of that happened. It just lingered. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to have to agree with you. Now, I, I can't justify best this. It's like, if you're going to bring up Get Out, if you're going to invoke us, yes. here's the problem with that. There was... Aside from just the psychology, uh, the psychology right. of it being a thriller and suspenseful, they also had some well-written comedy. They bit. did. We don't get comedy until well, after forty minutes. Well, that's true. We that don't get true. comedy until after we forty do get minutes. Some comedy, the movie but is a third yeah. of the way done. Yeah, by that. So, point. like, yes, I don't care yes. now. But also, along with Get Out and Us. We still, although it was racial tensions, we still had that uh, suspense. Yeah. We still had that thrill. Like, oh my God, please. Yeah, we, we liked it for that. I wanted it for this. I wish it. I wish, I wish the movie was as interesting yeah. as the trailer assumed we uh, assumed, assumed it, was it to be. be. Yeah. But let us know what y'all thought about uh, Antebellum yeah. if you happen to watch it. Let us know if you even want to watch it. I'm sorry we crapped all over this movie. But again, we, I, we, we got just a had to give you spoiler. our opinion. Yeah, yes. We got a spoiler video coming up right after this uh, without all the pomp and yes. circumstances. We're going to get into that. But let us know what you think. And also head on over to patreon.com slash Heal Kaiju, so you can get updates on the site, the store, and the channel, and also any new potential shows that we have coming up. We got a few uh, on the docket that we're going to be running into just for you guys. Uh, but again, thank you guys for Can't watching. Watch. Yes, we got Can't merch. Watch. Head on over there too. We have links. We have the links in the link tree uh, in the com uh, in the description of this video right here. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll have to catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.